Q&A. <laughs> With guest stars Sean and Chris Muir. Welcome to the Christmas Q&A that's after Christmas. So we have the Christmas tree so we can be festive. This is what you've all been waiting for. For your favorite three idiots to answer your beloved questions. I asked you for questions, you gave me questions. That tends to be how Q&As work and now we're gonna A the Q's. <laughs> At F-U-Z-I-O-N here. Asks, what are you going to college for? Uh, I'm still in high school so uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not in college. <laughs> uh, I'm playing uh, junior hockey right now. Not in college currently. <laughs> and I'm studying film, obviously. Letters to Ina asks, What advice do you have to people who are just starting to make videos on YouTube? How do you stay motivated even when results aren't the way that you like them to be? Man, am I familiar with this. This month has been slightly a struggle with that because like I put hours into every video and sometimes they don't perform the way that you do but you just gotta push through man. You have to focus on why you're doing it. I made a whole video about this. You can click above Sean's head. Click right here. <laughs> if you're starting the YouTube channel just to be successful and get like money and views then you're doing the wrong thing anyway. If you love to make videos, focus on doing that and just do what you like. And then if people happen to watch you, that's awesome. I'm not a YouTuber, but it's not about results. It's about doing something you love. Chris couldn't word it any better, so I'll just, <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. Rachel Kaiser asks, if you could travel anywhere, where would you go? New York City. Stay tuned. <laughs> I know that I've always wanted to go to Iceland because I've- It's icy? No, it's, it's kind of the opposite. It's I just heard here. great things about Iceland and how magnificent the views are and stuff like that. What a great vocabulary we got there, but I just heard from great things from some pretty reliable sources, so. Reliable sources? Yeah, my teacher from Stanford. I'd like to go to Rome someday. That's some place I've never Ooh, been to. Roman Christopher. <laughs> I would like to see the Colosseums and definitely just see old architecture. Look at that architecture. Their aqueducts are actually pretty radical if yeah, I do say it so myself. Mr. Riley Duick asks, favorite board game? I've always liked Sorry. We've just always grown up playing Sorry and just good times with the grandparents, you know? <laughs> My favorite board game is uh, Stratego because I somehow <laughs> never lose at it. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Favorite podcast? For me, since I'm a hockey guy, I like to listen to Spin and Chicklets podcast. Gotta shout out <laughs> this Nazi. Not a big deal. I like the Ground Up Show by Matt Diavella. Great podcast about minimalism. And if you want to listen, watch that video and learn more about minimalism, then my boy Clayton, <laughs> click the link in the description. <laughs> Apparently, podcast. I'm very dumb because I don't really listen to podcasts. <laughs> so I'm just going to give a shout out to my boy Clay Bowen <laughs> with... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This cobble! Freshers Vlogs asks, What YouTuber inspired you to do vlogging and why? The reason that I started vlogging in the first place was totally Tobuscus. Toby Turner, man. But then, like, if you actually count my vlogs, who doesn't start vlogging because of Casey Neistat? <laughs> <laughs> if I were to vlog, it would be probably because either Clay plays cool <laughs> vlogs or it because be because of Dan Mays, who's just a great YouTuber. His vlogs and his videos, pretty creative content if I do say so myself. <laughs> Theo Jimmy though asks, your favorite movie and why? Yeah. I just like how characters interact with each other in Pirates of the and It shows a lot of human motivation. There's a lot of underlying uh, themes that are not usually seen by the first time you watch it, but if you watch it a few times then you can see some really cool themes that stick out. Why do you like the Titanic? This is a favorite that I've, we've always watched during childhood. Mom did take out some of the scenes for us, so I've actually <laughs> never gotten to experience a whole movie. <laughs> but, even without the full movie, I just like, the, it's just a good movie. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> which video are you most proud of, and which video are you most regretting? I mean, most proud of? You better stay tuned until January 1st. I'm collectively making practically an entire movie starting January 1st. So you subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on MySpace. <laughs> and videos I'm most regretting. I'm just kidding. I can't stop singing. Okay, serious. But don't forget about Nina Wing for Top Hat Time. The time you wear a hat made out of Nina Wing. Bowen Pond.
Pottery asks, how many of you are there? There's at least five Sean's. Are there? This next question was asked by Hudson. Good afternoon. What are your opinions on renaming bacon and cookies? Since we bake cookies and cook bacon, I think I'm going to petition for them to switch names and wanted to know your thoughts. Sincerely, Hudson. <laughs> Not for us. We need Kevin on the panel. Oh, man. And I think Kevin oh. will have the perfect answer. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> thank you, Kevin. Abby Sun asks, what about video and photography inspire you to do it so much? Is there anything you don't like about it? I'm gonna be really lame here and just say, I like to capture things around me. And like I said before, I never really started doing this thinking that it would be something that I do to like make money or anything. I do it to capture my life because over this last month, I've been able to capture so much and just being able to look back at this and being able to do this for years and years, I can see so many cool moments in my life that I think otherwise, not only would be forgotten, but like now it can be enjoyed by other people and myself and my future children. Is there anything you don't like about it? Weirdly, throughout the whole month of daily vlogging, I kind of forgot everything that happened because I was so focused on capturing it and editing it to be good that I kind of forgot what happened for myself. So if you ask me what I did for the last month, I'd just say, watch the videos and find out. I don't freaking remember. I make deeper memories when I'm not filming it. Thing to feel like close to somebody and you're pretty far away across the country to be able to just tune into YouTube and see how their lives are doing or you know just kind of keep in touch it's easier you know kind of said it better you know <laughs> Caleb Powers asks does this count as a Q&A question yeah <laughs> Titans Bride 52 one of my favorite YouTube channels makes some great videos about tech my favorite one being about Facebook, because when I first joined Facebook, I was a little confused. And man, he just cleared it up really, really well. Today we are going to be learning about how to do Facebook for dummies. Who asked the first question? My first question that was ever asked to me is how to use Facebook. And over here, you can add where you work if you're an adult. Especially with those photo pictures, you know? <laughs> you will see the name. Your photo picture. <laughs> and I know how to get a friend request now. Add a friend button. You click that. And that is, and then the friend request is sent to that person. Uh. Well, thanks for watching that Q&A. Nothing was accomplished and your questions <laughs> weren't answered properly. If you want to watch good content, then stick around for January 1st because, oh my goodness, the coolest thing I've ever posted is gonna be posted. If you have more Q&A questions and you're just like, I wanna know how Sean wants to cook some cookies, then ask it down below. Or you wanna know how Chris edits his vlogs, then you can also ask that below. Just ask him, not me. <laughs> Create. Entertain. Inspire. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna peace out. Bye.